All right, dude. So there is your. Uh, this is from the other night. This is number four, or number five. That I think I didn't have the box at the house to do, to be able to do this. So. Playoff five. Playoffs. What I can tell you is I'll be rooting for the Chiefs for sure. I'm all over the Chiefs for many reasons. I think it would be really cool to see Patrick Mahomes be in the Super Bowl. I think it will be good for the hobby, good for business, good for my Chiefs friends that live in Kansas City. No, they're not. <laughs> Colts are not going to beat the Chiefs. They're just not. They might be able to keep it close, but they're not going to beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead. Rob, what's the line on that game? Uh, I might even take that one to the bank. What's the line on that? Right back. I'm guessing the line would be six Chiefs. Tyson, I got your uh, Texas Tech on. I'm trying out Hulu streaming. I have a feeling I'll end up back at at uh, Sling, but I'm trying out Hulu. There's a Devontae Parker to ten. What's up, Tip? This is number five playoff. So there's a link on the website for all the playoff teams if you guys bought in. There's a Robbie Anderson to 10. Thunder. What'd you think of Imagine Dragons last night? How about Alabama going down? I was wrong on that one. Usually I'm an underdog kind of guy, but I thought for sure Alabama 
at the level of which they've been playing all season and all year and actually for the past five years. You know, I thought it would be difficult to beat them in the national championship. I knew it would be a competitive game, but holy crap. I didn't think they'd get their ass handed to them. Oh, I can't stand Alabama. I despise them like you wouldn't believe. I despise Alabama. I think every, many people do, unless you live in Alabama or Tuscaloosa or went there. I do think they're highly overrated, and I do think that Nick Saban is appears to be pompous to me. He wouldn't even look anybody in the eye when he shakes their hands at the end of the night. It's kind of weird. Um, that's a 99 Desmond Trufant, Marcus's brother. But watching them play they do look to be playing on a different level than other teams so I figured it would be close and I figured that they would win but I didn't think it would be a freaking blowout well that freshman kid he was deadly accurate man I mean the dude I don't even know his actual numbers but Appeared to be, there's a Naheem Hines in the playoffs. He pre appeared to be pretty freaking accurate, man. From what I saw. Of course, I had to switch over for a little bit to see Hawk Hogan appear back on Raw. What would you guys think of that? We're hitting all the topics over the weekend. No more talking about the Bears because I'll just get, I'll just get upset. Saving is a D hole. Yeah, he is. Apparently, the parents who have kids in high school don't think so because they all want their kids to go play for the great Nick Saban. Sooner or later, he's going to have to retire. Who takes the place of Nick freaking Saban, dude? It's not like he's a Bowden. A Bowden or a Stoops, where he has family, at least that I know of, don't know of. The Ravens game, damn, that was a disappoint, double disappointment on Saturday, on Sunday. I was pulling for my Ravens, my AFC team, and Lamar Jackson, who everyone was like, get him out of there, bench him, bring in Flacco, but then, of course, Lamar Jackson drives him down the field and runs for a couple first downs. Makes a couple big plays. Then, every, then everyone's excited. I go inside to do something, and I walk him back out, see that he fumbled. I think I went in to get a drink or a beer or something. Came back out, game over. All right, so that was playoffs five, and I do believe if I already did it, well, then I guess I'm out my money, but 